think of privacy as an asset, um, not as some kind of checkbox compliance exercise. Of course, you have to do the checkbox compliance exercise anyway. That's something you, you just have to go through. But the whole process of, of being really good with data protection and really strong on privacy, that's for your users, which are ultimately your customers. Um, that's definitely an asset. That's trust. I mean, who doesn't want trust in their brand? Um, and that's where we are in the 21st century. You know, trust is about digital trust now. It's not whether or not the product breaks when you're using it. It's whether you've harvested my data when I was thinking about buying it. Um, so that's the new frontier, if you like, of where trust is for a brand. And if you get that wrong, it tends to stick around for a long time. Very hard to get back. Um, so I definitely encourage, although it's painful and it's change and it's a hassle, um, the mindset of having privacy and compliance and all of those things, uh, think of it very much as a positive light because you will win. There's plenty of data out there um, where consumers have said that you know they, they will trust a brand if they use their data responsibly and they won't trust a brand, they will leave that brand if you don't use their, uh, their data responsibly. People are much more interested in privacy and what happens to their data, how is it used or abused and uh, how can it be used against them. So to re-identify what should be an anonymous visit, for example. Well, we've got to be careful that we don't go too far because if everybody is privacy focused and worried about that every website they go to, then as soon as they see this pop-up banner which says reject all on it, why would they ever click anything else other than reject all? Then you have no data and then you can't make decisions, you can't do better marketing, you can't keep your stock levels correct, you can't have the right staff answering the phones or the emails at the right time. So everybody needs data. So we've got to be very careful that we don't scare the consumers off. But if left unchecked and unregulated, so without the GDPR, that's what was going to happen. People were just going to switch off and the whole industry potentially could have imploded. So although people complain about GDPR and the hassle and the overhead that it brings, I think it's a good thing. I think it saved our industry. Now, at least consumers, they know they have some kind of legal backing if their data is going to be misused. Um, so there is some redress. They can, and they are seeing this happen, where people are demanding, you know, what data do you have on me from organizations? So handling that in a professional way and not collecting data that you shouldn't collect is, is giving trust and control back to the consumer. But you, you have to, as an organization, you have to really show that, solidify that, and make sure that that is what you're doing so that the users believe you.